Oi! Jeez. Yeah. Rescue critter, can we? That's a little simple breath. A lot of fish on the back of this one. So you can see the fish on the back here. Hopefully you can cast in there and not spook them. So we're just here um, on Sydney Harbour. Uh, so it's uh, mid-October. Just got some of the new bait junkie product that we uh, are giving a go today. So we'll chase a few broom around the harbour today, hopefully catch a few um, in the structure. So the creature baits are fishing tight to the structure, um, you know, lightly weighted jig heads really casting in close. Uh, so we'll stop here, we'll fish our way down the harbour, we're up right up the top of the Parramatta now. We'll fish our way down and see how we go. Good thing about these risky critters, is they're three inch out of the pack, but they can be trimmed in a few different spots to make them a little bit more compact. So for yellow fin brim, I like trimming them just in front of these forward legs. Just makes it about two and a half inches uh, and a little bit better hookup ratio, I find. I'm just gonna throw this, this one's camo. I'm gonna throw it on a hidden weight. Another thing with them, when they ship, they're going to be attached at the two claws there. Make sure you just break them apart so the legs can swing. Alright, so next stop, really famous stop, uh, spot in the harbour. We'll go to uh, try Birkenhead Point Marina. So it's right on the corner, gets a lot of current flow. Um, not allowed to fish it anymore in a tournament. Um, but uh, can fish really, really well. So we'll go give that a try and, uh, and see how we go. How many sounders do they have? Look at it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven sounders. Oh, there's one there. Yeah, we'll catch him here. Cast it up onto the pontoon. Drag it off. Oh yeah, he's under it. Got him. Just watch the line. Saw that tick. Oh, there's so many there. Wow. Not big, but what's that? Five, six casts with the new risky critter. Got ourselves a little Sydney Harbour brim. Perfect hookup in the corner of the mouth. That's camo. Staple uh, creature bait colour. Not big, just a little one. We'll get bigger today. Um, all right, so we're at Birkenhead Point, just fishing the outside edge of the of the marina here. We've got a creature bait on the risky critter, and basically, uh, in this scenario, I can see the fish rolling on the on the tops of the pontoons. So rather than kind of skipping it in really hard and making a lot of disturbance, I'm basically just throwing it up on the concrete. It's a really easy um, jetty pontoon here. So throw the lure up onto the concrete and just drag it off so you get that really natural uh, presentation, you don't know, spook them. Um, so there seems to be a few fish here, so we'll work along here a little bit more and hopefully we'll get a few. Just watching the line sink. So I like to look at the my leader knot. It's kind of a good good place to kind of focus on and just watch it as the line sinks. If you see that tick, you know a fish has picked it up and you can uh, set the hook and pull them out from the, uh, from the structure. Oh, jeez. Little fella. 
ate it as I was working it back. There's a nice one with it. It's a little bit better. Got a little one. So the sun's just starting to poke out now. So uh, for this kind of technique, when you're fishing this kind of floating structure, that should really position the fish up under the pontoons and, and kind of make them almost a little bit easier to target because you know where they're going to be and they won't be so kind of out roaming in the open they'll be really ooh, high up under the high up under the um, pontoon sitting in that shade so as the sun keeps coming out we should hopefully keep getting a bit along here Oi! Jeez. That could be a better one. Maybe not. Nah. You hit that really hard, this one. Yeah. Whiskey critter, camo. Nice little Sydney brim. Basically what you want to do with these critters is you really don't have to do much. The, the little forward facing legs as they sink will vibrate and the rear legs are really there for when you just give it a little shake. Those rear legs really um, flap around and attract the fish and then kind of it goes back into a quite a subtle uh, sink just with that really slight vibration. Tend to, tend to get a, a lot of bites either as you're shaking it or just after you finish shaking it. I think the fish get attracted to the, to the action of the bigger legs and then as it sinks and those little front legs just start to quiver and the claws start quivering, I think that's what triggers them a lot of the time to bite. So, so we just fished first spot. We got a couple of fish at Birkenhead Point. Um, and now basically we're just gonna really kind of run and gun. I like fishing the harbour pretty pretty fast. Fish a very small kind of specific spot um, like this ferry terminal up here and just really try and hit you know 50 different spots in a day rather than just kind of stay in an area and just work the bank. Um, you kind of have to look for the for the spot within the spot so to speak at Sydney so you know while there might be fish all along this bank you know the the percentage play is to hit you know that pontoon or that pole and then move on to the next one and just fish those percentage spots because the harbour's so big there's so much structure to fish you really try and break it down um, as much as possible so that you're just focusing on that stuff that's the high percentage the best chance of a big fish or the most fish or whatever you're chasing for the day rather than just kind of mindlessly fishing along the bank because um, you just waste too much time and you don't cover enough water so we'll have a quick stop here have a few flicks and then move on to the next spot Lucky with that one. Yeah, and the little brim. Right from uh, in, the, in between that boat, over a rope, around a pole. Pretty lucky to get that one out of there. It's a bit late on the boat, but.
<laughs> oh, this is not good. Not, not good. Not good. It's a perch, it's an EP. Look at him up there. Oh yes, I don't know how I landed that. Nice little estuary perch on the risky critter. It was so far under that uh, jetty. The leader will be totally destroyed. Not a massive one, but not probably the most common catch in the only probably a couple of kilometers from the harbour bridge nice estuary patch it's pretty cool yeah, let him go yeah, cool if there's one estuary perch there's usually lots Another perch. A little bit bigger than the last one. As I said, where there's one estuary perch, make sure you always cast back same spot. And the camo risky critter. Another nice estuary perch. How good's that? This is cool. Try and get another one. So I'm gonna go hard drag and then I'll back. Three from three. The smallest one of the three. Can we go four in a row? Bound to luck run out eventually. <laughs> shrimp colour. Changed up, got busted off on the other one. A nice little perch and a tight cover. That's awesome fun. Alright, so we just ran up the Lane Cove River. So we noticed there's quite a few fish holding right up high on some boats. So Lane Cove, uh, really good for fishing boat hulls. So come up the Lane Cove, we're just gonna uh, throw the risky critters around the boats. And those fish should be up high in the sun um, under the shade on the keels of the boats or on the anchor up. So we'll fish this little jetty in front of us and then go uh, fish a few boats and see what we get. by any means but absolutely inhaled the risky critter there in blood worm. Oh, 
blood worm again. So he's got some mates. A lot of fish on the back of this one. So you can see the fish on the back here. Hopefully you can cast in there and not spook them. Straight away. Check him back. Make sure the plastic's straight. straight back. All right. So this is probably our last spot for the day. Just uh, heading back up the Parramatta River. Just fishing the outside of these marinas. You can't go into the private marinas, obviously, but just fishing the outside. Uh, where the current and the wind is all smashing into the pontoon. It's been a pretty successful day, caught quite a few fish. Let's see if we can't catch a couple more before we uh, head off for the day. Let's fish on that. The little one on the risky critter, blood worm again. Dark, a bit darker coloured one. Oh, it's a good one. Catching plenty of fish today. I swallowed that again. A little one off the edge of the marina. A risky critter. Oh, that could be a good one. Yeah, yeah. Decent. I just put my rod tip in the water there because there's lots of kelp on these pontoons. And I don't want the line to get caught in it. So stick your rod in the water, get the line low. Nice, not massive, but he's got a friend with him. You're close to a kilo, probably. And a little bit smaller than that. Swallowed it completely, that one. Take a look at that. All the way down. Solid fish, nothing, nothing amazing, but he uh, certainly wanted that plastic as soon as it hits the water, he was onto it. So. Keep going along. We've had quite a few bites on this little marina, so we'll keep going, see if we can get a few more. All right, pulled up just short of the ramp here. Going to give you a wrap up of the day. Uh, fish Sydney Harbour, caught quite a few fish. Nothing amazing size wise, but we did get quite a few fish in a couple of different species. Some estuary perch, brim, flounder, and saw plenty of kingies. So it was a good day in the harbour, fishing the new bait junkie risky critter. So that's uh, Chris Hickson and I's creature bait design. We've been working on it for about a year and a half now. It's finally available in shops. There's 12 colours in the range. You can view all of them uh, and the UV images as always on the Dial Fishing website. So dialfishing.com.au. You saw me today fishing them a lot on a hidden weight jig head, throwing them right up into the structure. If you love fishing a creature bait profile or you really love fishing structure, whether it's man-made like Sydney Harbour or some lay down timber and stuff in one of the uh, rivers, check them out. They're an awesome presentation, good uh, option to have in the kit. And you can check them out in stores or online now. We'll pull the boat out and uh, do it all again another time. <laughs>